guys welcome back to my channel um so today i have a project share on um two like junk journals slash i don't know altered mini album i don't really have a name for these because they kind of are a little bit of everything so uh, let's get started the first one here is a floral vintage theme um i love the tim holtz ephemera pieces and i always knew i wanted to use them um somehow that would you know really do it justice because it's so beautiful so on this cover and you guys know i pick up these um mini binders from the dollar tree and i alter them so that's the back you guys have seen several of these now that i've um altered um i've been loving doing this tassel like any tassel really um just love how it drapes kind of off by the spine piece there and then adding this little um, mason jar tag and i just threw on some ephemera on the back there and tim holt's word stickers here and it just says i lied about being the outdoors type and you know when i think outdoors i think floral like you know gardens and yeah just beautiful so that's that and then on the spine here um i kept the original background the hot pink i kind of like that and then just threw on some lace on there and you know my book corners i pick up from amazon it's always an awesome deal so you can get like um bulk packs for that when you order through amazon so it's always nice um, so on the inside, I love to do this like library card theme. Jessica from I'm a Cool Mom, she got me into that and, and I just absolutely love that look. Um, I didn't use a specific paper pad, so I'm not going to really point out what was used and for where, what and from where. Um, but I, yeah, I, I like to throw in little tags and doodads so the recipient a recipient can journal on them and then um, I kind of shot my stash and threw in you know little elements that I think um, she could use to embellish the the journal with so yeah this is some lace trim um, this here is just a vellum piece really cute you can take it out you know reuse it um, repurpose it whatever this beautiful this gorgeous gorgeous butterfly sticker set it's got like gold foil around it yeah just like the butterflies and gold glitter um so beautiful i wish i picked up more i picked up two sets and i've already used one and i thought i absolutely needed to share it for this particular theme so that's on there and then i did a little goodie bag with this like um little like glassine bags i guess from daiso and i just filled it with vintage theme items um some florals and you know like wood veneer pieces that she i think she could add to this play with whatever but i i like doing that um i like just throwing in things so i know people will have things to embellish with and this doily again um repurpose it kind of journal on the inside throw in a picture super cute i threw in a journaling card that was kind of more shabby chic but i just thought it was cute um yeah more random papers a lot i picked up from tuesday morning packs um just whatever i have around um i do usually i will try to stick with the same paged um dimension like not dimensions but like measurements but this time i just i love throwing in like odd like odds and ends of different papers i don't know i just it, it gave more to that junk journal feel i guess which i'm still getting um new to and i'm learning a lot from kimmy kim and um tammy from um my world in okc i believe um that's our youtube anyways you guys know who i'm talking about Anyhow, so this uh, just, it was uh, some, from some Happy Mail from Lynn Wilson. She sent me some beautiful um, die cut little, like a little packet there. So yeah, and this was from Kimmy Kim. She had a bunch of these little uh, elements that she sent me, wonderful sheets. Um, 
of this guest check and it was awesome so i ha definitely have more to play with and i just i love it so again really random it'll be like you know the vintage and then a pop of like kind of floral or you know and i just i don't know i've been loving that look so you know different sizes and so i really hope um the recipient loves it and again these little banners here that are laser cut um little manila envelopes it just it's so cute there's it's endless And this is just like a, a little standard envelope that I folded in half and you know, threw in some goodies in there and just some vintage journaling cards. Some Tim Holtz ephemera, this little birdie paper clip. Just, I absolutely love it. And this here was a, um, it was like, oh, like that wax paper that Kimmy Kim sent me. And then I kind of created a little, um, pocket and I threw in some tags and just some goodies for um, the recipient to play with so yeah guys um, yeah really really fun easy um, you know and she can it's it's quite thick but she can always take things out and you know a lot of them are goodies and you know work at it so that's the floral vintage theme one that one to a side and then the second one I made was a Valentine's themed one um, you guys have seen me show this um, so I've made just with the what is this called like the eyelash trim I don't know um, anyways it was red I picked some up from the Dollarama and then I also found this beautiful fluffy heart with this mini red tassel and that's hanging on the side it's just so stinking cute and she can always remove it throw it on her purse whatever um my crafts my projects they're always meant to be repurposed um yeah it's nice to look at but at the same time take it apart play with it have fun with it um that's how i am again the book corners um this paper and a lot of the papers more so that i used in this um particular kind of journal um was from the michaels like hot buy collection or not collection but they had like i'll show you guys here because you guys are wondering this is an older pad um i guess it's called the get glam so i absolutely love this paper so i did leave the cover very plain because um let me show you guys. I did include some sticker packs and I thought um, the recipient can pull these out and kind of like, you know, decorate as she likes. And I think that's the fun in it too, right? Like she's, I've kind of done just like the foundation of this journal and then she can add and embellish and customize it even more to what she you know could do so for this front pocket i left it very very plain she can definitely decorate it throw on some enamel dots this little paper clip here no it's beautiful right no i did not make it um i have to give the credit to tina kazarian beautiful and i just thought hearts it just was awesome and there is a little um you know again the library type um, journaling card in there that she could do whatever date it yeah for this one here you guys know I do like to use the acetate sheets for that and this is just gorgeous it's gold on one side and then rose gold on this side love it um, I threw in some stickers for her from the happy day collection um i just cut out some of their cut apart tags here and yeah just kind of threw them in there i thought that was fun this is like a little mini folder that i created and yeah it's just a little pocket with some journaling cards this was from the martha stewart paper pad from the dollarama these pockets were from Walmart. Um, I love doing the hidden pocket. And here I just have some of the risen roses. And here I just threw in more journaling cards. 
Um, I love that. Yeah, the Martha Stewart pad. It's absolutely fun and playful and totally VD appropriate. More journaling cards on the side. Um, and in here I threw some journaling goodies. And, you know, if she wanted, she wouldn't have, like, this could be, doesn't have to be V-Day. It could be just, like, a love journal even, right? So that's that. And I like to leave some room for her to throw in more pages if she wanted. Um, this V-Day card, I picked up, oh man, probably last year i think or some time ago it's a molly and rex card um you can find these at marshall's winners um tj max uh, oh like all those types of stores in their stationery section especially when they're on clearance for for yeah very very inexpensive and i just absolutely love this um there's foil and glitter all over the hearts and I thought she could repurpose this use it whatever but I loved it love is in the air and it totally went with this um journal theme so there's that for her and then with the Martha Stewart um I know they had like a card pack I turned it into a pocket here and then just threw in one of the postcards so I thought yeah that that was really cute and it was like the perfect size for that too so yeah guys that is um another one of my altered mini binders slash smash book slash junk journal <laughs> i really don't know what to call them um but yeah i hope you guys get inspired um these are time consuming that's why i really haven't sat down to do a tutorial on them um I walk, work on these here and there. These are like my ongoing projects. Like I'll start one and then I'll finish in a month. Like I'll do them an hour here, half an hour there. Like it's just very um, therapeutic for me and, and I love them. Um, and they're just, they're great. So I hope the recipient enjoys them. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, until next time, guys, take care. Bye.